Okay, this one's about the uh, stack type sequencer. And here's a picture of one uh, in a furnace. We're going to go ahead and cut this thing in half and look inside. And we'll see what makes it tick. Okay, here we have the sequencer that I was showing you inside the furnace. I'm showing you with a cutaway. Now there's, let's go over the parts of this. Okay, you got two set of contacts there, and they're just barely apart. That's actually pretty normal for these things. They don't move very much, but uh, they are apart. There are two white shafts in there. You can see that. One goes and, and pushes this one up, and the other one pushes this other one up. Okay, down below, this is a uh, bimetal. And it's a bimetal disc, like that, uh, like that there. It's the same thing as that thing. And you can see it's kind of curved. It's a little hard to tell there, but it's, it's kind of curved. And it's going to pop over and drop down. It's going to drop down this way, and the contacts will make. You know, it is a time delay relay, so it doesn't just do this right away. Now what it does, we've got the 24 volts comes in here and here. And between these two terminals is a little button. And I'll show you a picture of the button right here. That button is kind of the key to the way these things work. It's a type of heater. It's actually a thermistor and it increases resistance as its temperature increases. So as the power goes through it, it warms up and as it gets warmer, the uh, resistance increases and the amperage draw drops. But that heater warms up the bimetal. So what it does when this thing first gets power, it actually draws quite a bit of power in this little button right there. And if you watch your ammeter, and you got to be pretty quick on this, it'll draw a whole bunch and then it'll ease off. So when the thermistor is cold, it draws a lot of power and then it heats it up very quickly. And then it drops down to a lower amperage draw, usually about uh, on a two stack sequencer. It's about 0.3 to 0.4 amps, and it'll draw up to like one amp when it first starts. But that little button there, when it warms up, it heats this bimetal, and the bimetal moves down, and it pops. When it pops down, then it makes this switch quickly. When this power is cut off to here, then the uh, bimetal disc uh, cools, and again it pops and it pops back the other way and that opens up the contacts uh, this one here uh, it pops once and makes both of these sets of contacts some of them uh, will pop the top set first or close the top set first and then the second set and then the third set and so on whatever there is this is actually a three stack sequencer uh, you can see when I turn it over like that, there's actually three stacks there. Okay, so that's the, uh, the stack type sequencer. It's not an especially good sequencer. Uh, they tend to wear out uh, faster than most. They tend to stick. They tend to burn up. Uh, so they're not the best one out there. They are, however, cheap. And we used to call them the TI sequencers for Texas Instruments, but now everybody makes them. And they are the most common sequencer found in an electric furnace.